wanted to take this opportunity today to thank everyone for enabling us to reach a huge milestone today. We just got our 1,000th subscriber in barely over a year of doing this. When we started this last year, we thought this would be a fun little project, but I never dreamed that that many people would be interested in tuning in every week and watching an old farmer do what he loves to do. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, and we look forward to uh, giving you fresh content every week for the next foreseeable future. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Taking a shovel up, I cleaned the driveway off yesterday. The cows tend to uh, poop a lot on it. Got it all clean. First thing this morning, they re-pooped. Roger, quit hiding behind your mama. Come out. This is Snoopy right out in front of us. This black white face cow with the black dot in her forehead, I've been thinking she is gonna calve every night for a week now. Passes a uh, mucus plug. Just this morning she was switching her tail. I knew she'd calve today, but obviously she hasn't yet. Cows down to Creek Place need another bag of mineral today. This little calf just couldn't wait for his mother to stand up. He was hungry, she was tired, so he just decided to get him a meal while she's laying down. What I'm doing this morning, I'm one cow short in this pasture north of the house. Uh, it's got about 20 acres of really thick woods. As you can see, it's a great place for cows to calve in late winter and early spring. But boy, it's really hard to find them when they're bedded down and having a calf too. So we got to walk the whole woods today. After walking the length of the woods twice, I finally found her. Don't have too many black calves, even out of black cows, using all red bulls. So we'll leave them alone. She'll bring him out tomorrow morning. We can maybe tag him when she eats hay. We've been watching this cow for the last 30 or 40 minutes. She's in the very early stages of labor. Uh, she's been licking her belly. She's got her tail out. She's getting off away from the herd. Uh, every once in a while, it even looks like she'll have a contraction, but there's no water bag yet, so it could be close to morning before she has a calf. This cow that we've been keeping an eye on, uh, we've let time pass for about an hour. Drove through the pasture trying to look for it, actually was in the corral. So we just shut the gate on her. She's got a water bag exposed, but it could still be a while, so we'll give her another 30 minutes check on her again. That little bull calf was uh, named Judd, courtesy of Tom in Middleville, Michigan. The story of this cow and calf is just almost too weird to believe. Last night when I checked cows just a little bit before dark, I saw that she was going into labor. So we kept an eye on her, think maybe we'd get some footage of her actually having the calf. Well, by dark, she hadn't had it. I told my wife we'd try to find her uh, before we went to bed. And so we drove around the pasture for quite a while trying to find her, couldn't find her, came back to the corral. She's in the corral, the only cow in the corral by herself. So we close the gates on her, come back and check her in 30 more minutes. She's got uh, a couple of feet presented, come back 30 more minutes. It looks like she's having trouble. So I tried to get her in the chute, uh, but 
that won't work because she wants a piece of me as I'm trying to get her in the chute. So I'm thinking, well, maybe she can have it on her own. But I couldn't sleep. So about 10 o'clock, 10.30, I got up, came down here. It was obvious she had had the calf. The calf was nowhere to be found in the corral. The calf was over there about 50 feet where you see on the other side of the, the bulk feeder, if you can see the nose of my trailer in through there, the calf was underneath the trailer. His cow, his mother was still here in the corral bawling for him. So I carried him from over there. He's still wet with afterbirth and he is heavy, probably the heaviest calf born this spring. It's all I could do to carry him over here. But when I got him back in the corral, she went to licking on him like there was no tomorrow. They're fine. I just tagged him there. So everything's great, but I never had so many of those events happen in a row that were just weird. Plus the number of the cow is the same year I was born. Ripley's believe it or not. I don't know for sure how that newborn calf got out last night right after it was born, but I suspect since this is the highest point, his mother probably had him right here. And as she was licking him, she just slid him under the, under the gate. When I found him, he was all the way at the end of this other barn underneath the gooseneck nose of my stock trailer over there, if you can see it. So it's probably 60 feet over there. I know he was quite a load to carry back all the way over here. Well, I had the vet out to look at the uh, cow that had been off by herself for four or five days. And he uh, said everything seemed fine that the calf was presented normally. She wasn't dilated yet, uh, but she should have it within the next few days. She had it the next morning. It, it was fine. It was a huge calf, but she had it with no problem. This is the perfect example about cows babysitting. I just fed hay over, oh, about a quarter of a mile from here, and 30 cows of the 34 came up. The other four are over here. One's up in the brush right here, but they've got, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine calves that they're taking care of while the others are over there eating hay. Happens almost every day this time of year. Had a couple of trees blow over uh, during the winter. I'm gonna cut them up and haul them off to a brush pile with my front end loader today. And then we're gonna pick up some brush down here in the park area and pile it up to burn to it at a later time. Too windy today. Tail's still a little nasty from yesterday, but it looks dry, so I don't think he's scaring. He just, his mother gives so much milk, and he's a big calf, but it's hard 
not to scour them when they over, over drink like that.